Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PTQ.com, and today we're going to talk about uh, enabling remote management on your machines. Uh, there's a couple reasons you might want to do this. Uh, if you're using Deploy, I mean, when we connect to the local machine and run it locally, so there's not so much a remote management issue on that one. But if it's something you're looking to run some PowerShell against a machine, you might get something back that it's not listening or it has problems. Uh, so the, the first thing we're going to look at is probably, and this is probably the best way to go about doing it, is using group policy. So it's just uh, users, Windows components, Windows remote management, WinRM service, and then you come in here to allow remote server. The reason why this one's probably the best is you can specify which IPs you are allowing to come, come in. So if you come in here and you just put asterisk, it's going to be the same thing, just running it unset up, which everyone will be able to run remote, which is, you know, nice and handy, but the negative is anyone can run a remote command if they have the credentials. Uh, so it's probably best not to have that for everything, but you can do enabled and you can set which range IPv6 or 4 are, are allowed to send through. So you can limit it to your system administrators if they have their own IPs that you're looking for. And you can really limit who can do remote management instead of just kind of a free-for-all. I might also recommend if you are going to be doing something with remote management, uh, look into setting up your own cert authority so you can sign your scripts and have some extra security that way. Uh, if you're kind of looking for just the willy-nilly, let's have fun. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty easy. It's just going to come in here. It's just going to be WinRM quick config. And then you want to specify quiet. And don't hit enter, hit F8. It's going to come in there and you can see we've already set up on this one. It's just going to go in. It's going to enable the service, set the service to run out on a delay, uh, open the firewall points that you need, just set up everything you need to do to allow remote administration with, with uh, PowerShell. Now, obviously, if you can't remote, uh, you can't just send this out to every computer and be done with it. So a good way if you put this and you actually just make that a PowerShell command or a command line in uh, PDQ deploy, send it out to those machines, and that is going to enable it. But just be aware there's nothing to restrict who can send it at that point. The other one's very open. It's your environment. Do what you want. Just lock it down to make keep it as safe as, as, uh, as you would like instead of just having a free-for-all on that one. PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.